You're probably clicking on this video wondering, well, software engineering seems really cool. I mean, you get paid a lot. It seems like an exciting career, but here's why you shouldn't become a software engineer. Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Saga and I'm actually a software engineer in London, though I did not study computer science at university. In fact, I studied aerospace engineering and I transitioned into the world of tech. So the first thing I want to say is that I actually do like being a software engineer. Uh, however, this video is mostly for people who are unsure whether or not software engineering is for them. And I'll basically be covering three main things are that are basically quite unattractive about being a software engineer. So let's start off with the first thing that, you know, is pretty bad about being a software engineer. And that is that your job is not going to be, you know, quite physically dynamic or anything like that. You're basically going to be sitting at your desk pretty much all day staring at a screen. And a lot of people don't really like this sort of style of work. Uh, so for example, if you were a doctor or a pilot, you would at least be, you know, having a more dynamic, physically challenging job to some extent. Whereas being a software engineer, you're sort of quite sedentary, you're just going to be sitting at the desk, you know, might have to walk around to a whiteboard and that's probably about it, to be honest. Also, in contrast with, you know, normal engineering, for example, aerospace engineering, electrical engineering or mechanical, you don't really have that sort of like hands on style, you know, feeling when you're doing software engineering because you can't really touch the thing you're making, especially if it's like a pure software product. You can be a uh, software engineer in a hardware sort of environment. So for example, like if you were to be a software engineer at SpaceX, you could potentially be programming sort of controllers for a spacecraft, which then you can sort of like see in the real world. But generally speaking, if you are a software engineer, uh, you don't really have that sort of hands-on style feel to engineering, which some people do miss. And I, to be fair, I kind of miss aspects of it, but I don't think it's a real like push factor for me to leave the software engineering industry. The second reason why you might not want to have a career as a software engineer is that nowadays you compete with the best of the best on an international scale. And if you're the type of person who doesn't really want to put a tremendous amount of effort in to get to the top, well, I mean, to be honest, I don't know what you're thinking because a lot of industries require you to do that. But in particular, software engineering, you have to compete with people in India, China, and pretty much rest of the, well, everywhere to get into these top engineering roles. So in order to make sure you're the best of the best engineer, you have to one, firstly, be technically competent. And when I mean technically competent, I mean to like a really high level because you want to make sure you're practicing, you know, every week. In essence, like I would describe being a software engineer as uh, similar to being an athlete to some degree, because once you stop practicing and learning, you're going to be like, you know, off, off season or on off season. What's the word off form? And once you're off form, you're going to be overtaken by pretty much a ton of other people. So literally the amount of effort you have to put in to stay at the top and to, well, firstly get to the top and then stay at the top is a lot of work. And in essence, your career is not just a nine to five thing. You're going to be doing work after that as well if you want to really get the top tier jobs and be successful as a software engineer. This is the kind of effort that I have to put in to grow into my career as a software engineer because, well, right now I, I don't feel like, you know, I'm anywhere near the top and it is quite a lot of work. But that's the other thing. I do enjoy putting this effort in. So it's like it's one of those careers where you have to really enjoy what you do. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting your time and you're not really going to get the most out of being a software engineer. Unlike certain careers, being a software engineer is really fast paced in a sense where there is constant changes happening to the industry. And so you have to literally be on top of the new different changes. You have to be aware of what's new and you have to be able to, you know, learn and pick up new concepts pretty quickly, especially if you want to say current. And if you just retain your knowledge from, say, like 10 years ago and try to get a job, it's going to be very challenging because the market would have moved on. So for example, say if I take 20 years ago, there was no such thing as cloud computing and, and stuff like that. And well, nowadays, for example, AWS is quite prominent. And if you don't have AWS skills, then you are really, you know, not 
at that level as to what other software engineers are right now. So I would say if you're the type of person who, again, doesn't want to put much effort into learning new things and I guess evolving as you grow in your career, then software engineer might not be the career path for you because you have to put a lot of effort in to learn new things and you know figure out what's what's hot what's not in essence in the software engineering space and i guess also take time to you know unlearn things because because as a software engineer there's often times when things what was done in the past is not the convention nowadays so you have to be very adaptable and you can't be the type of person who's set in their ways and is like this is the only way to do things because if that's you then let me tell you you're not going to be really good in the software engineering industry so i guess the the main sort of message i really want to say is that you have to put so much effort in if you want to be the best of the best software engineer and land those you know top tier roles which they pay you like silly money in in other words like more money than i've ever seen anyone i ever know earn well that's just you know what you have to do i guess and it's one of those careers where if you want to idle around and you know not want to learn new things and in essence like be quite stagnant in your career Software engineering is not really the place to be if you want to be successful. Uh, there's probably other industries out there for you, don't know what, but I just know software engineer won't be it. Because if you don't adapt and evolve, not only will you not get the top level roles, but you might not even get the, the bottom tier roles because even they adapt to some amount. So that's just what I want to say. Like if you're the person who just wanna, just wants to sit around, do nothing, like, I don't know, doesn't really want to improve themselves and grow then yeah software engineering is not it I'm afraid so might have to look elsewhere so there we have it that is basically three of the main reasons why you shouldn't become a software engineer hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did learn something new or you know maybe thought whether or not software engineering is for you comment down below and give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more things about engineering software aerospace and all that sort of jazz so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.